hello guys hope you're doing well in this video i'm actually going to be talking about cni in the context of kubernetes so what is cni so let's look at the definition in the cni repo in github cni is basically a, a cloud native computing foundation project and it consists of a specification and libraries for writing plugins and why do we need those plugins we need it to configure network and not any network basically container network right so let's actually just take a look at like what kind of things that kubernetes is doing behind the scenes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a couple of pods actually right so i have a couple of pod yaml files and these are very simple actually it's just based on busybox image and uh, they don't do anything apart from just creating a container and i'm like running a sleep command uh you know that that'll be run as soon as the container is created so we have a couple of pods and we just created them using this kubectl apply command and if you see the output of this you have the the ips associated for those pods or assigned for those pods so so kubernetes took care of ip management ip address management or ipam and these pods are running on node 1 not like master so if you look at node 1 and if you run the ip link command which is for listing all the interfaces uh, basically it creates some interfaces uh, which are dedicated for those containers running in those pods actually okay so for example this interface is starting with cali the reason for this is that I have a CNI plugin called Calico running here. So we'll come back to what Calico is. So one thing it is doing is it's basically assigning IPs for pods. And also, if you log into any of these pods, let's say I go into um, pod one right and if i ping let's say the ip of pod 2 it is able to ping basically like pod 1 is able to talk to pod 2 so similarly if you log into pod 2 and then if you uh, try to actually ping pod 1 it will work and then inside these pods if you check the ip link it creates interfaces for these containers right so so all these network hop operations are taken care of for you but as i mentioned before kubernetes does not have like a built-in uh, built-in feature to take care of the network the container network kubernetes relies on cni plugins to do these operations and by kubernetes what i am referring to is actually the kubelet process so if you do a ps minus ef grep kubelet you have a bunch of parameters which are set while starting the kubelet process so one of them is network plugin cni and also there are a couple of other parameters which are not set and hence they've taken default values and those parameters are these actually so if you look at this article which I will uh, share the link for in my description 
So these are the parameters that are not set explicit explicitly. Okay. So one parameter is CNI bin DIR, which is opt CNI bin. That's the default value for that parameter. And then CNI config conf DIR, which is X HC CNI net D. So let's look at this particular directory and see what's in it. So if you look at opt CNI bin so these are the various CNA plugin binaries which are available for us to use on this cluster so there is the bridge plugin there is the host local plugin and I also mentioned Calico so and then there's Calico IPAM which is used for IP address management okay so these are all the executables which kubelet process can invoke to do the network operations now if I go to the other directory etc CNI net D there's a file over here which is basically the configuration for the CNI plugin running on this cluster. So you can see that basically the plugin that's running on this cluster, the CNI plugin is Calico and it's telling the Kubelet process that you need to use Calico IPAM for IP address management and you can add many more attributes to this configuration but this configuration gets created when you install the CNI plugin on your cluster actually it also tells you that the CNI version that it is complying with is 0.3.1 so now coming back to the the repo over here so basically there is a um, spec in this repo right so if you look at the spec it basically tells you all the versions that are released for this spec so starting from 0 0.1 and the latest one is 1.0 1 the one that my cluster has is 0 0.3.1 so it's a little bit old because I installed it about a couple of years ago. So the, you have all these specs. Like if I click on this one right here, it tells you like what the, the CNI should look like. So this is exactly the standard that CNI plugin is actually complying with. Okay. So you can read through this documentation. It basically tells you like, what what parameters your CNI plugin should have and what are the operations that that are expected from this uh, CNI like add del and version these are the CNI commands that um, this this particular spec requires your CNI plugin to have actually but you can see how this CNI plugin is basically providing all the information to Kubelet. So when Kubelet needs to create a container by invoking a container runtime, after the container is created, it just invokes the CNI plugin to take care of the network operations. Okay, so I hope that was clear. So do read through the article that I was just talking about. I will share the link for it in the description and uh, if anything is not clear feel free to ask your question in the comments I will see you guys with another topic soon thanks for listening bye